Uh, good afternoon. Mm, my name is Pimer Annette Helen, and I'm representing my group, EcoBank. Uh, the group members are Opolot Emmanuel, Oketch Helen, Doka Lydia, and Oken Sam Oken Samuel. Yes. Uh, we did our research on EcoBank and yeah, we did like a little evaluation on the things, backgrounds, structure, board, yeah. So in our introduction, we are going to talk about what EcoBank is. EcoBank is a licensed bank in Uganda. It was, um, its main offices are at Parliamentary Avenue. Uh, it is a Pan-African bank, and it was introduced in 2009 in Uganda. Its main offices are in Togo, and um, in Uganda, uh, EcoBank serves a population of about 24,000 customers. Yeah, and um, EcoBank doesn't have very many branches in Uganda because they mostly use uh, mobile banking, so it's easier for you to transfer your money from the bank direct into your mobile money account, and then you're easy to access. It's easy for you to access. And um, yeah, it's supervised by Bank of Uganda, just like any other commercial bank in Uganda. And yeah, that's that's basically a brief in our introduction. And then also probably you're wondering where some of their branches are. There is Mokono branch, there is a branch in Ginger, there is Mbarara, and then also it has branches in other countries in Africa, that is Congo, aside from Uganda, that's Democratic Republic of Congo, Chad, and yeah, other 34 African countries. I don't remember them properly. And then um, uh, it basically, plays a key role in like, I don't know, in financial, yeah, you understand, a bank and then finances of the people. So um, the background on the, organ, on the corporate entities right there, uh, the major headquarters, the ones in Uganda are on Parliamentary Avenue, the major headquarters like of the entire Pan-African Bank are in Togo and it was founded in 1985 under the private sector initiative. Yeah, uh, spearheaded by ECOWAS. I believe we all know ECOWAS in full. If we don't, it's right there. Yeah, Econo <laughs> Economic Community of West African States. Yeah, so the key role players in this financial institution are Emmanuel, the other name, I cannot read it properly, but I believe it's Ikhaz Dover as a chairperson, and then Ade, I, I don't know, I can't read it properly, but I don't know the pronunciation, yeah, as a group chief executive officer. And then, um, like I said earlier, when EcoBank is operating in 34 countries in Africa, and I gave you some of the examples, and then also it has branches in the US and the UK, aside from the other countries. And then the organizational structure. Okay, from what we're told, EcoBank has somehow a different organizational structure compared to other corporate entities. They trans from the shareholders, but the director, senior management, and then the middle management. Now the senior, management are people like the human resource, then like the general executive bank manager, like the general bank manager, and then the finance team and all those. Then the middle management include the branch managers. Please don't get me wrong, the branch managers are different from the main executive manager. The branch manager manages the branches like in different countries, so you know, yeah different countries and the different branches in different districts in the country. So that is senior management and middle management. And the other officers are the tellers, the other employees of the organization. Yeah. 
So the shareholders of EcoBank were told that only two, uh, unfortunately, were unable to get the uh, exact names of the shareholders because they told us that it's private information. They could not share that with us, but they told us there are two. Yes, there are two, and their key role is to invest in the company, and they have the power to also appoint a board of directors and also displace a member in case she loses a majority vote. For example, when the board sits and they believe like one of the members is not competent enough to continue, um, to continue playing their role in the organization, they let go of that person and the board decides. I will proceed from where she stops. Um, the major role of board of directors is to oversee the operation within the company. In other words, like they are the main overseers. Whatever happens in the progress of the company, they are the one who does, who does that particular role. The vision of EcoBank. EcoBank vision is to build a world-class Pan-African bank and to contribute to economic and financial development in Africa. EcoBank mainly believes in one Africa for all. So their work is to see into it that Africa is united. Their work is to see into it that Africa is developing economically and in other terms. The mission of EcoBank is to provide retailers and wholesale customers with convenience and accessible, reliable financial products and services. So they told us when we were uh, talking to them that for them, for you to be a customer, you get adequate services as a customer. So they do not have these shortcomings of um, a corporate uh, institution misbehaving in terms of uh, relating with their, with their clients. The core values of EcoBank, first is that the focus on their customers. Once you go to EcoBank and you want to open an account, they give you a very warm welcome and they take you through the processes which are required for you to open an account. Do the right thing. The right thing they do is that they do not take you around maybe trying to brief you about their financial background, what you should do or what you should not do. In EcoBank, if you have 5,000 shillings, you are eligible to open an account with them. They keep it simple. Keeping it, keeping it simple means that if I, if I go to EcoBank and I want to open an account, that whoever is in that position to give, to give me what I want gives it to his or her best. Meaning they do not, um, they do not walk around telling you there are some things you need to do, there are some things you don't need to do. As long as you have the ID card that is for the nationals, the Ugandans. For international uh, clients, the requirement is a passport. You are eligible to get the, the, to open an account. They work hard to see into it that EcoBank is progressing and that's why they are existing today. They are, all of them are committed and for in case of lack of commitment, immediately they throw you out of EcoBank. Uh, make no differences. For them, they, they, they cooperate with their clients together with the, the National Bank of Uganda. They are proudly African, meaning they believe in one African and Pan-Africanism. <coughs> yes, why is it called the Pan-African Bank? It's because they believe in one Africa for all. So they are, they are mostly Pan-Africanists. Qualification to become a board member at EcoBank. You must be mentally sound, like you must be at normal state required for someone who is mentally sound, be of age 18 and above. Uh, you have, it means that you must have done business before. You can't just wake up and go to ECO to become a board member when you do not have a business background. 
They meet both genders, female and male. They meet qualification also. So if, if you have qualification, maybe you did law in a certain year, and again, you have a degree in business, it doesn't matter. You have to be a board member as long as you have those requirements. How does Ecobank practice corporate governance? Ecobank is registered by the Bank of Uganda, and so they are, they are loyal to respect the rules and regulation given by the Bank of Uganda. Bank of Uganda comes to Ecobank to do auditing, and they are free to open their doors to Bank of Uganda. So they cooperate with other entities, and they are eligible to enter. They are eligible to enter into, into, into an agreement with any other corporate entity as long as they are able to get uh, profit from there. Good afternoon, members. My name is Okain Samuel. So we asked them about the corporate social responsibilities. And so far, they have very outstanding MSA connections with other angels outside, for example. They have a campaign. They're running with Red Cross. Uh, it's called uh, Support a Girl Child. Because uh, literally, there's a time they run. Uh, it happened in Mokono about, uh, I think, a month ago about a, a, a month ago. So they collect funds in order to you know, keep girls in school. And then uh, they, are, they, are, they have a, let me say, financial relationship with FUFA, you know, so that to, to support and provide services to kids who have dreams of playing soccer outside. So how, how does one acquire a loan at uh, Ecobar? You must be a regular customer. You understand? So you must have an account with them. And uh, you must have, let me say, sufficient cash flow or like a sufficient source of income where you make money or you get money from. And then uh, you must have been in business with them at least for a period of three to four years. And uh, you must have tangible securities, for example, land, cars, or a house probably, something that you can hold as they trust you with their money. So the full, uh, sanctions employed on failure to pay a long time. So probably this comes when you've totally failed to you know, pay them in, 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 in time, the money they lent you. First is that they issue a, a notice reminding you of the debt you owe them. And then uh, they issue a court letter uh, yeah, they issue a court letter calling you to court and uh, probably appear before a judge and you're reminded of the debt. Then uh, if you fail to appear or probably if you fail to come in terms with things they owe you, last resort is that they sell the securities that you trusted them with. If it's your house, they'll sell it at a market price, of course. Then uh, uh, we discovered around 2016 they had a series of ATMs that were closed. So we asked them as to why they closed the ATMs. They gave us a very solid answer. ATMs were not making money, and it was, cost, it was costly like, to keep them in shape, running them, because you needed labor, and it's expensive to cater for such services. So at Echo Bank, if, let me say, if you've performed very well throughout the year, like maybe probably the employee of the year, there are packages you're given, uh, for example, they can give you money, appreciation, their time, they offer cars, a house, and formal appreciation, whereby you can, through, throughout all this, they're holding their general meeting. I think uh, if you have any technical issues, you will sort it out later. Let's have the team on multi-choice. Let's clap for them. Let's have the team from multi-choice take over your seats. 